schools differ in how their interviews are conducted from one another. It serves as a crucial screening tool for some, and others use it to access cases that are on the edge, and some even use it as an application-related information session. So, hey everyone, in this video of top MBA interview questions, I'll take you through some very important interview questions to help you with how to treat MBA interview like a pleasant discussion rather than the agony you may be dreading it to be. So the first question that is very often asked is, tell me something about yourself. In this response, be concise and direct as you discuss your background, experience and accomplishments. Give a two to three minute response at most and make sure to include the most information elements of the program or school. Also do mention your undergraduate experience and why you choose the major you opted for, including your experience and achievements from the past as well as present. Also give a better overview of your career objectives and the path you have taken to understand what matters most to you in your chosen field. Next, interviewers will try to understand why you want to pursue MBA. So justify your desire to earn a master's in business administration and how it will help you accomplish your career goals. Put special emphasis on the skills you wish to improve and how they connect to the industry, professional or areas that interest you. Express why did you decide to pursue this degree now. Interviewers hunt for a thoroughly thought out approach to the task the candidate is willing to take on. In order to best demonstrate your intent to enroll in this course, please respond holistically. Now the next question in the queue is, why do you want to join this business school? So the interviewer may ask this MBA interview question directly of why you're interested in this program or area. You must now list all the factors that make the school or program the best fit for you. There are many factors to take into account, including the faculty, culture, curriculum, relationships in the business, and job placements. So state down the features and distinguish the school or program and why you are interested in them. Your response will aid the interviewer in visualizing you as a future college student. Next question is, why should we take you in? Now, interviewers try to put you on the spot by directly asking why the university should choose you for the program. Use this MBA interview question to highlight your ability to manage topics with evidence to support it. Mention your accomplishments, draw attention to the skills you have honed so far in your career, and describe how your background in academia and the workplace will be useful to other participants in the program. Now, next question, which is a frequently asked question is, discuss your achievements as leader. Now, business school interviewers seek out potentially strong leaders. So try to give many instances from your professional, volunteer or community roles where you have demonstrated leadership. Also talk about the initiatives you manage and the results you got and what part do your skills play in this situation and what leadership lessons did you gain along the way. Next question is the trickiest question of an interview. What are your strengths? and weaknesses. Now, you may be asked two different questions regarding your strengths and weaknesses, or one combined question. In any case, the interviewer looks for evidence of your humility and self-awareness. Start by outlining your weaknesses and telling a tale about how you overcome one of them. It's relatively simple to handle strengths from there. Pick one or two qualities that, in your opinion, set you apart from the competition and support them with solid examples. Try stating with one personal characteristic and how it influences verifiable positive results to get started. Next question that we are going to analyze is, what aspects of your current job do you enjoy? Now use this opportunity to discuss your present job and interest. Mention how the experience you gained from this work will help you in the future. Describe how accomplishment, um, accomplishing specific jobs help you discover your interest or how working with you workers might have influenced your decision to pursue an MBA. 
Now then comes the question related to your planned goals. That is, what are your short term and long term objectives? Your short term objectives should include things you can do right away and how you plan to do them. And your long term goals are influenced by your passions and interests and how an MBA can help you grow in your job. Now the next question coming in the list is, how would an MBA help you advance your in career? Now this crucial MBA interview question requires a thorough response because it decides why you want to get an MBA. You should now elaborate on why an MBA is essential to you at this time in your life and why a different degree in your area of interest would not be able to produce the same outcomes as an MBA. To give a more thorough response, you may also outline your long term goals. Now the next upcoming question examines your ability to work in a team, which is, are you a team player? Describe. Now equally important to leadership qualities are teamwork and supportive talents. You should come across as flexible, but firm. Additionally, keep in mind to provide specific examples to support your answers. The next question in the line is, what would your co-workers, supervisor or friends say about you? Here, you should emphasize both your professional and personal traits. Also, it's most likely the person who wrote your letter of recommendation, if they say so, supervisor. The most important thing to keep in mind is to avoid creating up information because any errors could raise suspicions. Try to present an honest portrait of yourself. Now, next question is, how do you make the most of your resources? Well, this question may appear redundant, yet the answer is much different from why this school. This is because providing an answer to this question will require a far more thorough assessment of the department and the resources it offers. If you haven't done your research, the interviewer or admissions committee will immediately write you off as not being very interested in the program. Now, when you clear out this previous question, then follows the question of, have you applied to any other schools? Now, this is a tricky MBA interview question. It may appear obnoxious or forthcoming, but do not take it that way. Instead, respond to the query, list a couple of the college you're considering applying to and explain your decision. Do your best to avoid making it clear which school you prefer over others. The next question in the list is describe a period when you had an inept manager and how you dealt with the situation. Now it's another difficult question. It would be beneficial if you treated the situation without portraying your manager as inept or without denying that they were the source of such behavior and that you handled it in a non-aggressive manner. This will demonstrate your personal and professional development and maturity. Now comes the last question in our list, that is, do you have any concerns or inquiries about school or program? Now, if you're permitted to ask the interview questions regarding the course or the application process, have at least one or two thoughtful responses ready. Genuine inquiring in show your curiosity and background knowledge. Ask in-depth questions about topics as you converse, if you can, to show that you are paying attention to what is being said. Also, avoid asking questions that can be found on the school's website or in its marketing materials because doing so will make you appear unprepared in your interviews and decrease your prospects. Well, these were all the important questions that you might come across while giving your MBA interview. Though these MBA interview questions might seem a bit, bit intimidating, yet analyzing them and thoroughly going through these questions can help you reach your dream B school. I hope you like this video and learn something new from it. If you have any questions, do comment down. Our team will reach out to you as soon as possible. Thank you. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.